He's a fucking cabal member. You know what? Fucking yeah, yeah. You know what? I'll fucking call. I'm sure Ruth Bader Ginsburg can weather me calling her a dumb bitch. If you cancel me, then you're actually being transphobic. So, but you didn't think of that. Also, your name has a um, an emote in it. Yeah, Tryhard is a euphemism that racists use to say the N word in Twitch chat. So actually, you're um, you're being you're using racist language. You ever think of that? <laughs> get owned, get owned, bitch. Hats capitalism uses capitalist innovations. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's a very good point, David G. No one has ever made that point before. When we uh, when we get communist YouTube, I'll go use that. I'm sure this is news to you, but we do live in a capitalist society. So like, I can't I can't exactly stream on communism tube. I mean, like, obviously you're really breaking new ground with that argument. We live in a fucking society. I don't have an option to like avoid capitalism, dude. The options I have are participate in capitalism or fucking starve. Dude, can we talk about how fucking stupid Idiocracy is? You all watched Idiocracy and you thought you were fucking really smart. Idiocracy is real. No, dude, okay, here's the thing, dude. Like, we all fucking watched Idiocracy and like, we thought we were really fucking smart because we watched Idiocracy and we're like, yeah, I'm not one of those, like the dumb people who breed all the time. But like, it's it's straight up eugenics. It's straight up like, yeah, only like, the, the feeble-minded breed. No, it's a funny movie. Do I have a funnier movie to wreck? Jesus Christ, I'm not gonna fucking read all that. There are a million funny movies. Like, the whole, like, premise of idiocracy is that, like, the world is going to shit because the feeble-minded are breeding. There is a therefore there, right? What's the therefore? The therefore is, it, the world would be a better place if dumb people didn't breed. Does that sound familiar to you? Who gets to determine what the dumb people are. How do you determine that? It's literally, it's literally a eugenics movie. They do nail the whole like cop talk the, <laughs> while you're being a particular individual in jail. It's comedy dingus. <laughs> Dude, do you like, do you ever like look in the mirror and just think like, God, I'm such a bitch. It, the, the central premise of the movie, like the, the inciting incident, like what made the world the way it was, was not that the world was overtaken by by um, fucking advertisement and consumerism, right? That wasn't like, they did a fucking like exposition of how the world became the way it was, right? You, they, they'd have a full like like time lapse, right? You saw it, you watched the movie. I know you watched it because you're like really fucking digging in your heels to defend it. Yeah. <laughs> that is, yeah, they, you are a fucking dork. You're, <laughs> stay mad, you mad bro? But yeah, like they, they have a fucking the whole like time lapse like explanation of, like why the world is the way it is. It's like very like, there's no like wiggle room there. They fucking like say, this is like why the world went to shit. And it wasn't because the world was fucking overrun with consumerism. They didn't say like, oh yeah, the only avenue people had left to like feel any power or sense of like agency was to fucking be a Karen on fucking Yelp and buy shit, right? And just like buy like shittier and fatty foods and they couldn't afford like healthy food. So they, they didn't have like proper nutrients. So they like, didn't develop properly so they were like they grew up mentally stunted because of bad nutrition like did none of that like was it doesn't say like any of that like made society the way it was it said that fucking <laughs> it said that the world went to shit because more dumb people had babies and dumb people had more babies than smart people had babies that was the central premise of the movie. You're in favor of eugenics though. Okay, there we go. See, I can respect if you're just gonna be like, you know, just embrace the fucking like eugenics argument. Hey, you know what? You know what? That's, it's the, um, the first step is admitting you have a problem, right? KLFGC? The first step is admitting you have the problem. It's like, it's much, like fascism is a lot more insidious if the way it's like framed isn't like, you know, I'm just saying or whatever. It's like, you know, maybe we should consider, to, if you just say like, I'm just in favor of eugenics, we're just, we're just gonna do eugenics now we can fucking we have something we can like latch on to and say okay why are you in favor of eugenics now my position on eugenics is that all social ills are the result of oppressive systems of power and what you see as like people being dumb or part of that is just like bias it's taught to you to undermine so, like worker solidarity part of it is just like fucking people that are just like they're fucking literally in the case of like like take like fucking people growing up in like poor communities right and they have these like the only like housing they have access to is like fucking old dilapidated houses that 
housing that like has not been like like brought up to code ever. And so there's just like lead paint fucking coming off the walls and shit. And there's like fucking like mains voltage just kind of like chilling. Fucking radiation everywhere. That's like people are like literally fucking poisoned. Lead poisoning will give you brain damage. So then like people who like have been like lead, they've been poisoned, right? So like they're going to be more predisposed to violence because of the fucking lead poisoning. You can be a, you can be a benevolent eugenicist. Dude, can I get that framed? You can be a benevolent eugenicist. Do you, do, you know eugenics, eugenics is fucking murder, right? It's, it's murder. It's genocide. Okay, who's a, can you give me an example? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can you, David, can you give me an example of a benevolent eugenicist? Give me an example of a, a an historical figure who was a benevolent eugenicist, someone who did eugenics for the for the public good. Robert. <laughs> uh, ah, dude, there was um. Yeah, there's like me, there's like people that are like posting like like leftist cringe on Twitter now, and like one of like the leftist cringe things was like someone who got abortion hoop earrings, and like why is that fucking cringe? That's fucking tight. Uh. What's the most charitable like reading of eugenics? You want to like control who is breeding so that you have a strong genetic stock, right? You want to have like a good genetic stock, and we're taking we're talking like the most like charitable reading of it. Who gets to decide what qualities you want in that genetic stock? But someone gets to fucking decide that. And it's always the people in power. And the people in power tend to follow like a certain trend, right? There's like a certain like demographic, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's a certain like, yeah. I wonder if they're going to have a certain bias. They're trying to slip in more DNA governmental profiling on it. We could just stop reading all together. Well, that's the other thing. It's the fucking, like, population people. Like, oh, we have to, like, the Earth is overpopulated and stuff. Like, what? So their solution is, like, literally just, well, the the way we uh, solve, like, our, our current environmental crisis is by killing a lot of people. Or by, like, just fucking doing, like, random sterilization, right? Like, that's, that's the other thing. Like... I'm sure that like David is like coming from that same kind of stock. Cause I used to be you, David. Luckily I spent a lot of my like online shithead days in like total anonymity. And then I got better. You, you start as like a 4chan shithead and you either like become like a fucking white supremacist, like saying it, it's possible it's possible to be a benevolent eugenicist. Or you can be a shitty unpassable tran who like plays Tekken way too much instead of like doing anything productive. If we don't control it, we'll get out of control. How can anyone think it will self-regulate? As the like, quality of life increases, like birth rates go down. It's just like, a, it's like a common trend you see. The, the self-regulation is it's really fucking hard to raise a kid. A lot of like births have just happened because like people are fucking like, have like, they're exposed to like only propaganda about how like you go to hell if you get an abortion or whatever, or like it, abortion will kill you or whatever. And like, they also just don't have access to birth control. Bene benevolent eugenicist reminds me a lot of pedos that are like, yo, I like this, but I'd never do it. It's the, it's the fucking like, technically it's pederasty or no, technically it's a febophilia. Like those fucking guys. There's a, there's a million different factors that go into birth rates being high. If you really want to be a benevolent eugenicist and like fucking like drop your country's birth rates, then you should be like, all in on just raising like the standard of living for the average person and giving everyone like access to birth control and abortion, right? If you really want fucking eugenics, people will fucking stop breeding for you. It's actually very convenient. If you just give them access to birth control and say, hey, here it is if you want it, like just here. Here's here's morning after pills for free. People will fucking take it. You don't have to like tie people down and fucking like give them a hysterectomy. You can just like get, have a like, have a fucking like fish bowl full of like morning after pills and say here. Here's a fucking sippy cup. Just fucking scoop away, bitch. Yeah, obviously abortion is not eugenics. You know, abortion is the thing you should do just for fun. Have you have have you guys tried getting an abortion? It's fucking tight. I think that's why they try to tamp down on it so much, because abortion is just so fucking fun.